Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Marlon Ladd, independent filmmaker extraordinaire. Okay, today we're going to do a quick um, airbrush tutorial in Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop uh, CC, which is like the 2015, 2016 version or whatever, but you can pretty much use any Photoshop um, and achieve this. So we're going to go from this to this in less than five minutes okay and this is really quick and really simple okay what you want to do is come over here to your panel on the side and you want to select the brush tool okay now double click on the layer so it unlocks and then you want to come down here and what you want to do is you want to click on this uh, foreground color and then this little tool right here, you want to go to an area um, that has a skin tone that is very similar to the area that you are going to airbrush. So I'm going to start with her eyes. So I'm going to come over here. And what it's going to do is it's going to match the skin color. And then I click OK. Now I have my opacity up here on the brush set at 16. Um, over here, I have the size of the brush as 140. Uh, just because this is an extreme close-up the picture is pretty big and so what you want to do is you just want to click on your mouse hold it down and just paint over the area that you essentially want to airbrush and it's just that simple and of course the higher you have the opacity then the more it's going to airbrush and then if I want to come down here, she's going to make up. So her cheeks are kind of red. So I'm going to select this color here, hit OK. Now I'm going to take my opacity up to about, uh, let's say like 21. And then it's area that's already red. I'm going to paint over that. And you see how it just smooths out the skin and gets rid of those uh, pores. Too far there. Okay. Okay. And then, so you can basically do this for the entire face because the skin tone is not going to be the same color everywhere. So, for instance, I'm going to come over here and do the nose, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to smooth that area out. And I can take this up here to the forehead if I want to. See, that looks pretty good. Kind of a dark circle right there, right there. Okay, and then if I want to come down here around her mouth, I'll click right there. And you just do the same thing. And especially for a picture like this, this is an extreme close up, so the camera's capturing things that probably the naked eye wouldn't even see or pay any attention to. And that's kind of what you want to achieve whenever you're uh, taking a picture of somebody. You don't want all the little imperfections and things like that to, to show up and distract from uh, what you would see if you were actually looking at the person. And I'm going to come over here to the other side. cheek here and then if I want to come back up here being the perfectionist that I am just come in here get a little bit under there And then I could come back here and, you know, finish up on her nose if I wanted, but you get the idea. Number four. And the after. 
Now, if you guys have any more questions about anything, just leave them in the comments below. If you liked the video, if you felt like this was helpful, please click on the thumbs up, share the video and all that stuff. Um, if you want to know anything else about how to bring out the eyes or uh, whiten the teeth or anything like that, leave it in the comment section and I'll hook it up. Until next time, please check out my channel, look at some of my films and spread the word. This is your boy Marlon Ladd. Holla back.